Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a surprise for you today. Remember this truck? You probably saw it on Power Driven's YouTube. We dynoed it, blew the head gasket. It's here now. One of the, actually before, before he even worked here, his dad brought it here, brought his son Reed, and we ended up hiring him. Uh, and he's worked out pretty good, past probation. So now he's working on a shop project for his dad, 12 valve. You guys know how much I hate those, but it is what it is. Let's show you what this built engine has to offer. Reed, right here, bought this blast from the past. Now, we even got little man, the whole, the whole crew's here. Hopefully they keep it PG. And Reed, what are you doing for your dad here? Well, we're shooting for, he wants 1200 horse. I'm happy if it hits a thousand. Okay. Yeah. And he wants to drive it on the street. Yes. All right. Yeah. So why, why are we doing this right now? Why are we doing this right now? Yeah, we smacked it on the dyno. Yeah, because it blew because it blew a head gasket on the dyno. Okay, hey. so this is this is a built engine, right? Uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I'm not gonna tell you who built it because we're not here to do that. But this is why you guys need to check. So this is unmodified. Okay. So I like where he was going here. The RTV. I've seen that done. The missing bolt on the custom freeze plug there. Really not a fan. And there's a lot of RTV going on over there. I was curious how little you have to value your time in order to make one of those. Like, that's where my question was. My question is, why, is going why, why, like, why, why don't you tell everybody, what, what are we looking at here? What valve springs aren't these? So these are 60 pound valve springs on the exhaust and stock on the intake. You do exhaust spring, uh, springs on the exhaust for like exhaust brake. If you want to rev over three grand, you do at least yeah. all of them 60 pound. That's a 13 mil, right? Yeah, it is a 13 yeah. mil. 13 mil pump with 60 pound valve springs. ARP 2000s? Actually, they don't even say ARP. I don't think they You are. know what these are? I bet you they're the Speed Hut or the Speed Master or whatever. Yeah, they're not ARP. Yeah, That's these are probably A1s. So, not a bad stud when he probably bought these, but yeah, this is, this is rough. This is uh, not for much longer, though. quite disheartening. Makes you really excited for the tranny, huh, Reed? <laughs> yes. Yes, wow. yes, it does. Um, so, I'll show you guys the tear down here. Yeah. All right, so here, got the head studs off. Yeah, I go up and over the injection pump. Sorry, Pedro. Hey, that is a, a different piston for sure. Those would probably be the Aries pistons that was described with a. Oh, so these are not a 12 valve piston. Yeah. Look at the bolt. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Now they made them. Dude, I thought I had piston in the wall. Oh, dang. Now, guys, to be fair, with a forged piston, you do run a lot more piston in the wall than a cast piston, but. It didn't scuff too bad. Oh, dude. That'll have to go up to the next size. Especially with cast piston. Dang. Think? Man, for 400 horsepower, I would not expect these kind of scuffs. Interesting. Well, there you have it. Now let's, I can't wait to see what kind of uh, rods we have in here. What did they say were in here, Reed? I'm not too sure. You wanna play Tay-Tay? You wanna play a game? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go 12 valve rods with the upgraded rod bolt. And then we have a square cut firing. It's kind of old school. Kind of really dates this engine build here. But, hey, the good news is the piston spray doesn't look terrible. Pretty decent injector in there. Dude, stock cover. Not bad. A little Brody in there, but. Probably had water in it for a while. Yeah. Cam retainer, adjustable pump gear, little wear sleeve action that we'll need to do on the crankshaft, but. I love the dipstick, Reed. Is that custom or what? Yeah. Is there a zip tie holding that on? That sure, that is, sure dude. is. As per regulation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. They even vacuum cap that puppy off. Should have let that breed, dude. That was... I'm sure they, what they do is measure, like, oh, I'm not really seeing any marks. <laughs> so it'll, probably... be, it'll be fine. They're just like, ah, oh, it's on the stick. Get good. Bye. We got this sweet dual plane intake. Which, honestly, given like what it. we given what we know now, that probably flows okay. Every valve cover had a breather, right? 
Uh, no, I think four. four. And the cool part is, look guys, when you have a 13 wheel pump, you only need the exhaust push rods to be upgraded. <laughs> the intakes are factory, which is kind of cool. It's, uh, man, I haven't seen a push rod. You know where these came from? I bet you these are max spool. Push rods. No, he's yeah. probably doing. He's probably running a really aggressive cam, and he's trying to counteract that with a lighter push rod, so it like it absorbs some of it, so it acts like a more street friendly cam. Oh man, stock lines too. Man, this has really turned into a bummer here. Factory head. Do they look ported? Yeah, we, we haven't gotten that far. But <clears throat> probably not. Go out on a limb and say it's probably not. Okay, well we'll show you guys the bottom end. So in my prediction of what rods are in this engine, look at the protrusion on cylinder number one, okay? There's protrusion. Check out the recession on six. So chances are- Now check out the three and four. Look at how much yeah. those stick out. Yeah, three and four, a lot more. So I'm, I'm surprised so, if slightly bent, really bent. <laughs> yeah, so chances are these are 12 valve rods in here. That might also be why it was so down on power. Man, it just really, really sucks to see. And guys, the reason why we're leaving out the place that built this is that does you no good. It's just know what you're buying. Try to check it. I mean, it, it really sucks. Luckily for Reed's dad, he didn't pay a ton of money for this, but there's no business a 13 mil pump should have been on stock valve springs, stock push rods, stock rods, and forged pistons. Like this is just, it's just really, really, really sucks to see. So Reed's working on the oil pan. Murr is working on the, Camshaft. Why does that look stock? I it does, doesn't it, huh? It's supposed to be a custom brown one. Okay, that, that to be fair. Awesome. What's it say on it? WFB 608 906 plus 5. Definitely doesn't look stock. The lobes don't know. The ramp, the ramp doesn't look stock. But I can tell you what, those tappets have seen better days. Yeah, look at that. Oh, dang, brother. Sheesh. And for those of you guys that don't know, the tappet actually rides in reverse of the crankshaft rotation because the cam spins opposite. So this is the trailing side, and this would be the um, valve spring opening side. Surprise is like nowhere right here, you know what I mean? <laughs> like that spring not just like it just up. Like it might have flown the spring open. Oil pan is... Come on, ooh, we, got, um, we got a girdle or something in there. A man after my own heart. Look at that. RTV or just a. Just the, okay. the second one. Okay. So, <laughs> so okay. for what you guys, so a lot of you guys don't know, there's a very popular company that makes these girdles. Mm -hmm. These are really old, but man, we got factory head main studs. Factory rod bolts with factory rods. And it looks like a factory 12 valve tappet. You can tell by how small they are. This is really, this really it's should be. Funny because someone numbered all the rods and then yeah. put them in a completely different order. Like and what's, number one, three, six, and you guys four. see the you see the marks here though? Which does tell me that this crankshaft was balanced. You guys can see all the machining that happened here. So I would say that this was probably a balanced bottom end if i had to guess but not what should be in an engine that's supposed to make that much power taking the rods apart looks like an oem bearing yeah yeah like a genuine cummins bearing which honestly isn't terrible but this should have had at least h's in it and here comes the first rod got a nice soot ridge i'm assuming come on pedro There we go. Ooh, those might be diamond pistons. Tool steel pins. Put the, put the in. Yeah, that's a diamond piston, it looks like. We got a nice set of total seal rings on here. We got a really light um, wrist pin, probably tool steel as well. Oh, gosh, ain't, ain't that bad. Okay. Number three. Kinda. What country of origin are those rods, Senior Reed? Flip them over. England. England. Yep. And 
Nice. So this one doesn't look terrible. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to end that video there. Kind of unfortunate. I, again, it's one of those things like, just be careful who you buy stuff from. It just really sucks that that engine looked the way it did. And, um, yeah, uh, just, man. Luckily, Reed's dad took it in stride. So, what we're going to do from here, build him a 6 1 stroker, some Weigler rods cast pistons get a cam in there stuff like that ported head i will try to do a maybe a little build series on that but i wanted to show you guys the tear down of that i wanted to show you guys what can happen sometimes when you buy used stuff uh it really sucks to see but at the end of the day it's still a cool truck we'll get them patched up but man i just it's kind of just rough that, like that that just really sucks i don't wish that on anybody but hopefully you guys at least enjoyed the content drop a comment down below subscribe if you're not already and as always guys i'll catch you on the next one